Welcome to the second video in the series of videos on magnetic effect of current. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about electromagnets. Um, but just a quick um, review or recap of what we looked into the previous video. Um, we saw that if we have a solenoid, um, which is a coil which, ca which can carry current, right? A, a coil that carries current, uh, it produces magnetic field as shown. And the direction of these magnetic field lines can be easily shown using your right hand. If you curl your fingers in the direction of the current, uh, then your thumb points to the direction of the uh, uh, magnetic field. So the magnetic field lines would be in this direction, which means that your north would be here and south would be here because field lines uh, you draw like that, right? So that's a good way of um, using your right hand um, rule to find out the direction of your magnetic field. Now, if you take this solenoid, um, though it produces a magnetic field inside, uh, inside this coil, so let's assume that you have this current flowing in like this. Um, yeah. Um, your your magnetic field lines, yeah, of course, will be like that. Your magnetic field lines will be like that. Uh, now, this magnetic field lines that we see here inside um, is dependent upon uh, many things. So, one of the things that it is dependent upon is uh, number of turns per unit length. That is how tightly packed that that these coils are. So that de that's determined by number of turns per unit length. Uh, the second factor that it depends upon is um, is a current I that is passed through. So current I that goes through. So that determines. That also, uh, you know, more the current, the magnetic field strength is more. And similarly, the number of turns per unit length is more, your, your B would be uh, more. Now, there is a third way in which you can strengthen the magnetic field. And this is by introducing a type of material called ferromagnetic core. So these are called, um, these are called, uh, a ferromagnetic core. Now, the property of the ferromagnetic core is that as soon as you put in, the magnetic field strength uh, will will increase or will amplify by a thousand times. So, uh, introducing a ferromagnetic core uh, will increase the magnetic field strength uh, inside the solenoid. So, the third way to increase the magnetic field strength is to uh, introduce uh, an iron core or ferromagnetic core. So, so that's how you can increase the magnetic field strength. The moment you introduce a ferromagnetic core, you will see that the one end, which was north, uh, and the other end, which is south, continues to be the way it, wa it is, uh, it was, but the field strength increases by a factor of 1,000 times. So um, the ferromagnet has that property that it increases the field strength. Um, and suddenly you have now a magnet. So he, this, the, you know, this, this iron core, this ferromagnetic core, uh, it suddenly becomes a magnet. And now that it becomes a magnet, we call this as electromagnet um, now you can you can reverse the direction of the current um, to opposite of what it was uh, what is shown above and you and if you have that electromagnet uh, same electromagnet in between that solenoid now your north and south will change so, um, so in electromagnets, uh, you can easily change polarity. All you need to do is to pass a current 
in a different direction, right? So here it's going in and here it was coming out. Um, so that's, that's all you have to do. And here it's going up and here it's coming down, right? So electromagnets are, are, are artificial magnets created by, um, created by putting in an iron core. Here is a picture of, um, of a solenoid with a ferromagnetic core. And you can find the magnetic field um, by curling your fingers. And if this is your current, this is your B, as we discussed. Um, and in the other, you know, if, if you have the current flowing in the other direction, or, oh, sorry, both of them here are one minute. Yeah, yeah. So you have to use the right hand here, right? You have to use the right hand. Because if you don't use the right hand, and if you use the left hand, uh, you know, this is a left hand. This is a left hand. Or, I'm sorry, this is... Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is a, this is a left hand um, you're using. So so this is wrong. So you get a, you get a wrong results for for the direction of your magnetic field. Um, so you get the direction like this, which is north and south. So your left hand will give you a wrong result. So you have to use your right hand for finding the direction of the magnetic uh, magnetic uh, field, um, which is shown on the left side. So now a ferromagnet, or oh sorry, an electromagnet has many advantages. So following are the advantages of a ferromagnet, or sorry, electromagnet. Um, advantages of electromagnet. So you can switch on or off. Um, let's say versus permanent magnet. Let me change the color to more visual, uh, you know, visual color with black contrast. Okay, so you can switch on and off. You can increase or decrease field strength. You can change direction. Um, and yeah, so these are the main advantages of um, electromagnet over permanent magnet. Um, now here are some of the uses of uh, electromagnet. Um, electromagnets are very handy uh, in electric bells. So when you have an electric bell, the way it works is uh, you have a battery with switch and and here is a this is your electromagnet as you press on the switch this electromagnet is activated and uh, it pulls it pulls this uh, pulls this lever towards it due to electromagnetic induction and what you will see then is um, this circuit will break open and suddenly you know there is no current and hence no magnetic field um, and 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 this liver will go back so as this movement happens when you switch on and off this hammer hits a gong and you know you get um, you get the sound so you don't need to know the working of this but it's enough uh, if you know a bell is an example of an electromagnet and then you have electric cranes so you can switch on and switch off your electromagnets and you can uh, you can carry scrape or any kind of metallic load from one place to another um, so this this is your second example and here's your third example so when you have in a speaker you get music uh, through your uh, cable 3.5 mm jack um, you know as signals like this so as you get these signals which is the music um, these are these signals are passed through these uh, these wires, and as the signals are passed through these wires, um, the you know you have a you have a magnetic effect um, on this coil, and and due to its interaction with the inner cone, which is which is this, 
um, and at the end there is a magnet so here there is a magnet and this cone is connected so when your solenoids magnetic field is changing um, the the central magnet will also oscillate uh, depending upon the change in the magnetic field outside in the coil and that sends vibration and you hear that as sound uh, so speaker is also a good example of uh, electromagnet so you don't need to know all the working but it's good enough uh, if you have a feel of uh, um, how these are good examples for an electromagnet um, I'll see you in the next video uh, we talk about some applications of um, of this magnetic field um, produced by current in the form of motor and other things see you until then bye